What's up, Cyber Friends? Kaiser here, and this video I'm going to show you how to put custom firmware on your Flipper Zero. Let's go. Before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for more cybersecurity and hacking content. So you may be wondering, why in the world should I install a custom firmware on my Flipper Zero? Isn't the official firmware that comes with the Flipper enough? And the answer in short is no, it is not enough. It is quite capable. However, custom firmware adds to your capability immensely. And I highly recommend it if you are gonna get serious about Flipper Zero hacking and security testing. With a custom firmware, you get access to more apps, more attacks, and more customization options. And overall, it provides a better user experience for you. Now, before you can install a custom firmware, you do have to install the official firmware. So I wanna show you how to do that first. And then I want to show you how to install two different custom firmwares. Now there are more than two custom firmwares available for Flipper Zero. However, I chose to do two because I want to keep the video short and there's no way I can show you how to do everything with the Flipper Zero in this video. The two firmwares I want to show you how to install are Extreme and Unleash. So first I'm going to show you how to do it. Unleash followed by Extreme. Keep in mind that you can only have one firmware installed at one time, so choose your firmware wisely. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install two different firmwares. However, I'm not going to make recommendations on which firmware to choose or the pros and cons of each firmware. That's gonna be a discussion for a later video. I do like both of these firmwares as I do have two flippers, one with Extreme and one with Unleash. So I do use both these firmwares quite regularly. Lastly, before you can use your flipper, you need to install a micro SD card like this. To install it, it's very simple. There's a hole on the bottom of the flipper. Plug it in like so. And then with that plugged in, you're off for the races. Now keep in mind that the maximum size you can use is 256 gigabytes. You can't go higher than that. Also, whatever SD card that you use will get formatted completely, which means everything on the SD card will be deleted. So make sure you're using either an SD card that you don't care about or a brand new one. So once you got the SC card installed, you want to navigate to this website, flipperzero.one slash update. I'll put a link in the video description. And basically what this is, is a desktop application that allows you to manage and use your flipper. Uh, it's also called QFlipper. Installing it is very easy. You click here and you'll download QFlipper and then you install it like you would any other application on your system. So after you get QFlipper installed in your system and you launch the application, you'll see this message saying connect your flipper, connecting it super easy, just take a USB type C, plug it into your flipper, pl plug the other end into your computer and your computer should recognize the flipper. So one thing I do like about QFlipper is that it, it shows you what's going on in the flipper screen currently. So I, if we click full screen on this and I start using the flipper with my hands here, you'll see that the menu changes and whatever's showing up in here will show up on the screen, which is really cool. I do like that feature, but we don't need that for now. Uh, for now, let's go back. And on the home here, we can see that we have the current version of Unleash at uh, 067. So that's the most updated version of Unleash. I wanna show you how to install Unleashed um, later in this video, but for now, just assume that there's no firmware on this flipper and we're installing the official firmware for the first time. So to do, to do that, we need to click the wrench icon here and you can do, you can select release, release candidate or development. Uh, for the most stable version of the official version, do just do release. And then once you select that, all you have to do is push install and then push update. And then once you do that, everything is out of your hands at this point. You just let the computer and the flipper do its thing. It's gonna download the newest version of the official firmware and it's going to put it on your flipper. Once the official firmware is installed on the flipper, you can now close out a QFlipper because we don't need it anymore. And then you wanna to navigate to this GitHub repo, github.com slash darkflippers slash unleash firmware, unleash dash firmware. I'll put the link in the video description, but if you do a quick Google search for unleash firmware, this is the first thing that should pop up. Once you're on this page, you're gonna scroll down and you'll see releases. And then you'll see Unleash, Dash, and then whatever version number is the most current one. So right now it's 067. Uh, in the future, this will definitely change. So uh, that doesn't matter too much. Just click in there and update to the newest version. Once you're on this page with the releases, you're gonna scroll down and you'll see Install via Web Updater. This, in my opinion, is the easiest way to install Unleash firmware. So click on this and it's gonna take you to lab.flipper.net. And then once you're here, it will show you 
assuming that your flipper is still plugged in, it will automatically pull up the information from your flipper. So as you can see here, I got firmware uh, 0.97.1. This is the official firmware that I just installed. And then we get the ability to install Unleashed. We can choose the firmware from here. So we can do release-cfw, release. I'm pretty sure this is just the official firmware. And then we have this as well. And then we have the dev. Um, we're gonna go with release-cfw because I believe this is the only way to install Unleashed. So you can see it says Unleashed-067. So click on that and then it's already pre-selected for you. But once you have this selected, just hit install. And that's literally it. Once you do that, it's just a waiting game at this point. It will download all the files that you need on your from the browser and then it will just automatically put it on your flipper. And for the extreme firmware, the process is very similar. However, it's a little bit different. Let me show you how to do it. So once again, you're gonna to go to a GitHub repo. This time it's github.com slash flipper dash XFW slash extreme dash firmware. I'll put the link in the video description as always. So once we're on this page, we wanna scroll down to the releases, just like we did with Unleashed, click on this. Once you're here, you're gonna click Web Updater once again, just like we did with Unleashed. Now this is where it gets a little bit different. The Web Updater is built differently. However, it is just as easy to use. So you see here, it automatically detected our flipper. So if you have your flipper plugged in and you have QFlipper closed, it should automatically detect uh, your flipper being plugged in. And you can see here, we got the current firmware and we can select what version of extreme that we want to use so obviously we want to do the most up-to-date version which is 52 so that's one on top and it should already be pre-selected and then all you have to do after that is hit flash and then it will load the firmware bundle and it will download it and then it will just automatically put it on your flipper as you can see the flipper screen says updating it's a very straightforward process and very easy just be patient so there you have it. That's how you install custom firmware on your Flipper Zero, whether you want to go with Unleash or Extreme. If you got value out of this video, please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're interested in more cybersecurity and hacking content, hit the subscribe button. Would really appreciate that. We got a lot more cybersecurity and hacking content on the way. Also, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite Flipper Zero firmware. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video, but until then, peace out, take care, have a good one. Kaiser, out.